Welcome to this video. In this video, I would like to show and explain you the F1 help in SAP ERP and SAP S4 HANA. In my opinion, it is one of the most important helps in the whole SAP system. You should use the F1 help if you're stuck and need help. There are a lot of functions that might help you. Enjoy this video and let's get started. The F1 help is a functionality in the SAP GUI, so in SAP ERP and SAP S4 HANA. It is called F1 help because it is executable with the F1 key on your keyboard. So you can simply set the focus on one element. So here, for example, we are in the transaction ME23N to display purchase orders in the SAP system. And here, for example, I set the focus to this field GR not evaluated. And then after I set the focus, I hit the F1 key on my keyboard and then the performance assistant will open up. So a window that shows you great information about this field. So in here we are seeing a documentation of this field. Here in the toolbar there you have a lot more functionalities available of the F1 help. But here, basically, if you're stuck, if you don't know what a field is and you would like to get a documentation, you will get a nice help and description of this field. You can just simply set the focus, hit that one key on your keyboard, and then you can read this documentation. So furthermore, what I also recommend is the command field. Uh, you can also set the focus in and then you can also hit the F1 key on your keyboard. And in here you're seeing nice shortcuts of the command field you can use in your daily work with the SAP system. That is really helpful in your daily work. And as mentioned here, we have this GR non evaluated field, a lot of functionalities available in the toolbar. So here, for example, we can open up the application help. So if you click on this button, then on your default browser, the help portal will open up. And in here, you can type in different search terms that you would like to search in the application help portal. Furthermore, we have the technical information. So in my opinion, one of the most important information available in the one help. So here, if we click on this button, then the technical information will open up based on the field you have set the focus on. And in here you see information for the screen data, for the GUI data, for the field data itself, and for field description for batch input. And here, for example, for the data element, they can use the forward navigation so you can double click and then you jump into the ABAP dictionary so in the transaction code SE11 and there you can analyze and investigate this field more closely. If you want to go one step back then you can hit the F3 key on your keyboard or click on this back button, the screen button and then you jumped one step back. Furthermore, if you have the authorization, then you can edit this documentation and we have more information where we'll see more closely in a couple of seconds. But basically here you can open up the glossary. So once again, your default browser will open up and the help portal, the SAP glossary will open up. And in here you can also do a general search for different technical terms and components, what you like to. So for example, in here if you would like to get more information about this field you can type it in if you would like to search for other terms you can type those in and in here you can open up the SAP help portal with the click then you can open up the help portal in the main page and in here if you want you can print the documentation and in here you can close it. So and here we're jumping to another transaction, the Miro, where you can enter incoming invoices and in here you can type in a text code. And once again, if I set the focus onto this element, hit the one key on my keyboard, now we're seeing that this button in the toolbar is available, the customizing button, because here you can directly jump into the customizing path. Here, if you want to, you can specify or select a, um, an existing project. I continue without specifying a project. 
And in here you're seeing all the customizing nodes where you can find the text codes. So for example, if I would like to go into the financial accounting global settings new, I can double click on this and then you jump into the transaction S Pro where you directly can define a text code based on a country. So for example, in here, you can specify a text code, what you like to. And this is really helpful to jump directly into the customizing node in the transaction code S Pro. If you want to, once again, with the back button, you can jump back where you opened up this F1 help. And if you want to select different elements, so for example, you can do it also on buttons, on labels, what you like to. So labels, input fields, you just can click on the fields to set the focus, to have this kind of red frame around this element and then hit the F1 key. If you want to set the focus onto a button without executing the function behind this button, you can click on this button and then you move your cursor away from this button and then you drop your mouse button your mouse button and then you can once again hit the f1 key on your keyboard to open up the f1 help based on this button and here we are seeing again the technical information so thank you very much for watching i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have any questions leave a comment in the comment section you can like the video if you want to and please subscribe this video to never miss great upcoming videos on this youtube channel thank you very much and then see you in the next video